How about printing robotics? You can do that with polypropylene because it can bend and bend and bend and doesn't break. So you can make joints. This is printed in one piece and you can use air to make it work. Here you can see it being printed on a cold bed using Zilla Grip by Zilla 3D. This is how we made it using Tinkercad. We got a model, cut it in half. This is showing it in um, Simplify 3D. You can see the insides of it. These walls are only two layers thick and they are airproof. Here we're printing it using uh, 10 rings uh, around the brim. And this is strong enough to keep it on there on a cold bed. You don't need to have uh, an enclosure. You don't need to heat the enclosure. You can print polypropylene, one of the best plastics for making useful items, especially things that have to move like robotics. You can see it prints just like PLA, very easy. This is at 253 degrees. There are different uh, pop polypropylene filaments out there. You want to make sure the one you get is a little stiffer, not really soft. Some of them are very, very soft. Here you can see the roll says PP, polypropylene. Here we show the walls being built up. They're only two layers thick and they are airproof, which would mean they're waterproof. And you saw in the beginning, we were putting air in there and it was working because the air is not getting out. Here you can see it's uh, being built up and you can see the edges of the brim, nothing is coming up. Now this was done using a thin layer of Zilla Grip you can do a thicker layer, but this is a small model, and so there are less forces pulling it up. But if you try to do this with glue, it would come up on all the edges. You can see a slight bit of it coming up around the round part, but that's why we do 10 rings to make sure that um, it doesn't get close to the model. At this point, normally, if you were printing it, it would start um, pulling up on the brim and here you can see it's you couldn't take this off with your with your hands if you wanted to that's how strongly this is attached to the bed and you can see we show the display showing that the bed is cold 23 degrees Celsius so this is finished and you can see it even finished the top. There was uh, very little support inside this because it's all round and we put the support at 60 degrees so that it wouldn't print any support inside except for one small portion. So we use a razor blade first to get under the brim and then we use a sharpened um, spatula to get under the... Now you have to go from side to side because what you're doing is you're cutting a rubberized kind of... Uh, um, coating it, when, it, when you heat it and this was only heated to about 40 degrees but it's a small model so it doesn't need that much and you can see you go side to side and it comes right up because what you're doing is you're cutting the bonds and here you can see that it was 40 41 degrees now there is some uh, some of the glue on the bottom and you can take that off with some acetone or goo gone any of those types of items will work you can see how strong this is. You actually can't remove the brim with your fingers. That's how strong this filament is. You need to cut it off with a razor blade or a knife. It's it, very difficult to tear. And here we're just showing it's printed very the way well. it was printed. And this and was at 60 uh, millimeters per second. So, strong. Uh, so it was at the normal speed that you would normally print. Bend over and Nothing over special. Without tearing. The only thing that's special is the coating. You can print not only this, this plastic, but also nylon, uh, polycarbonate, um, Air goes ABS. All those plastics sense. can be printed with the same coating. Open the difference is on PLA, you need to dilute it 
one to one with acetone so it's a very light coating and here showing you putting some air in there you see the way it moves you can produce this type of action for action ro in robotics using all these different live hinges with this plastic so if you have any comments or any questions please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can thank you